Hi everyone, today's lesson is lesson 42, short division and then division divis divisibility by 3, 6, and 9. So we've learned a division algorithm which we follow four steps. The four steps are divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. Okay. This algorithm is called long division. In this, sen in this lesson we're going to practice a short and firm form of this algorithm and it's called short division. Okay, so normally when we do long division, or when we do short division, we follow the same steps of long division, but we don't write down every single number. But we, so we keep track of some of the numbers in our heads. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So let's use an easier problem than this one. Let's say I have 56 divided by 4. Okay, so... I first start by doing 5 divided by 4, okay? I know 5 divided by 4 is 1. 4 times 1 is 4. And then I subtract and, and hit 1 left over and I bring down the 16. So this is long division, okay? Um, and then we have 4 goes into 16 4 times. 4 times 4 is 16, we subtract and get 0. Okay. If I want to do this with short division, it would look like this. So, 56 divided by 4. Okay. So, I'd think immensely in my head, okay, 4, uh, or 5 divided by 4 is 1, and I know that 4 times 1 is 4. Okay. And so I'm going to subtract in my head 5 minus 4 is 1. And instead of writing the 4 down here, I just do it in my head. And then I know there's 1 left over, and so I carry that over here by the 6. And I just write it really small, and I bring it up next to the 6. So now I think, okay, 4 divided by, or 16 divided by 4, do you see the 16 there? Divided by 4 equals 4. Okay, and then I'm done. So the short division way has a lot more writing, or le less writing in it. Um, but if you have troubles doing the short division, it's okay to continue doing long division. Okay, so let's go back to that other problem. So here we have a total of 840 people attended the five performances of the school play. Find the average number of people who attended each performance by dividing 840 by five. So I would use short division for this practice. So we have 840 divided by five, okay? So I think, okay, eight divided by five is one, and then do five times one is five. So eight minus five is three. So I'd put the three next to this, to the four. Then I think, okay, 34 divided by five is six. 5 times 6 is 30, and 34 minus 30 is 4. I'd carry the 4 over here. Okay, then I'd think, okay, 40 minus, or sorry, 40 divided by 5 equals 8. And 5 times 8 is 40, so I'm finished. Okay, so we have an average of 168 people that attended the performances. Now, as I said, if this is this way doesn't work so well for you, it's totally fine to do the long division. Okay, this is just another way, it makes it a little bit shorter, um, but it's, it's up to you. All right, so divisibility is the ability of a number to be divided by another number without a remainder. So we found, like in lesson 22, we found that whole numbers ending in an even digit are divisible by 2. And if they end in a 0, you, they are divisible by 2, 5, and 10. And any whole numbers ending in 5 are divisible by 5. Okay, So we have a couple more rules here. So if we want to see if a number is divisible by 3, 6, and 9. So if it's divisible by 3, the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. So for example, if I have 111 and I add those all together, 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3. Well, 3 is divisible by 3, so that means that 111 is divisible by 3, okay? All right, for 6, it says if the number is divisible by 2 and 3, okay? 
So that means my number, I have to be able to divide it by 2 and 3, which means it can also be divided by 6. And then 9, if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. So just like with the 3, I would take the numbers. So let's say I have 81. Well, 8 plus 1 equals 9, and I know 9 can be divided by 9. So 81 can be divided by 9. Okay. So this says, which of these numbers is divisible by 3, by 6, and by 9? So let's see which of these numbers is divisible by um, 3 and 6 and 9. So we start with 456. And remember we do 4 plus 5 plus 6. So 4, um, 4 plus 5 is 9 plus 6 is 15. Well, I know that 15 can be divided by 3. So this one is divisible by 3. Okay, It's also an even number, so I know it's divisible by, by 2. So since it's divisible by 3 and 2, this number is also divisible by 6. But 15, you cannot divide 15 by 9, so that means it's not divisible by 9. So it can't be A. Cancel get B. So we have 567. Okay, so we do 5 plus 6 plus 7. So 5 plus 6 is 11, plus 7 is 18. Okay, so 18 is divisible by both 3 and 9. But if you look, this is an even number, is an odd number, so I can't divide it by 2. So this number cannot be div divis divided by 6, so it's not that one. Okay. Um, let's do 576, okay? So that's 5 plus 7 plus 6, which equals 18. Well, I know 18 is divisible by 3 and 9, and then this number is even, so, it can, so it's divisible by 2, which means it's also divisible by 6. Because remember, if a number is divisible by 3 and 2, it's also divisible by 6. So this is divisible by all 3. Okay, and the last one is 645, okay, so we do 6 plus 4 plus 5, 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 5 is 15, which I know is divisible by 3, but since the number is odd, it can't be divided by 2, and 15 is not divisible by 9. So the only one that's divisible by all 3 is C, 576. Okay, so... We just want to practice a couple more problems. Okay, and let's practice doing this with short division. So 435 divided by 3. So think, okay, 4 divided by 3 is 1. 4 minus, or 3 times 1 is 3. So 4 minus 3 is 1. So I carry the 1 over. 13 divided by 3 is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. So 13 minus 12 is 1. And then 15 divided by 3 is 5. So my answer is 145. Okay. All right, and let's see if 100, 1,350 is, div is divisible by 3, 6, or 9. So we do 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 0. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. Well, I know that 9 can be divided by 3 and 9. And then my number is even, so it also can be divided by 2. Since it can be divided by 3 and 2, I know this can also be divided by 6. Okay, and that's it for this assignment. Good luck on your homework.